movie. We're going to continue our discussion about layout design in Crystal Reports for Export to Excel. In the prior movie, we talked about aligning our fields correctly and trying to make it look as grid-like as possible for a clean export. But there's a few more layout and design tips that may come in handy. You'll probably have to experiment with this just a little bit, but once you get it, it pretty much works each and every time. Let's observe. Notice here in our design tab that we have this field here which appears to be a little bit bigger than this field. That's because it's got a line. Crystal will allow you to format the cells, but it can be a little bit tricky. So let's right click here on this field, format the field, and we're going to go to the border and we're going to put on the top a single line, same as the field next to it. And then as a stopgap measure we're going to highlight both fields by dragging across the selection. Right click in the first field, we're going to align their tops and we're going to size them the same height. Width in this case has already been taken care of. We did that manually. And let's do the same thing for down here. We're going to right click, format this field, put a single line border up top, same as the field next to it, and press OK. And now we're going to put the two together. You can either drag it across with the selection line and right click and say align tops and make him the same height. Again, this is more of an exercise in patience than a technical exercise. There's also a line on the bottom of this one as well. That can cause problems in our exports, which I'll show you in a second. Let's format this field, go to the border, and remove that single one. We want all the fields to be the same. That way they export cleanly. As I go along, I shift the sections upward because if you put too big of a space, Crystal will export an extra row or line, and that can kind of throw you off when you're auto-filtering or slicing and dicing. The grand total I'm going to leave by itself because that's the last thing that appears. Here's the problem with the other way to do it. This is our report, rough report format 1v2, the export. As we come down, we notice we have an extra space here between the two lines. Now, Crystal is famously picky about this type of thing. Sometimes it'll let you get away with a format line. Sometimes it will not. I will say I have seen both cases, and I have spent more time formatting a Crystal report than actually coding and writing it just to get the format right. But let's go back to our Crystal report and take a look at our preview. In this case, let's go ahead and export it. And we're going to go ahead and choose this. And these are some extra options you have. It's best if you use the whole report options otherwise one section will define how it's supposed to be for all and that may not be what you want. Let's go ahead and press OK. I'm going to throw this out on my desktop. I'm going to call it V3 and save. It takes a little bit for this to export. Keep that in mind if you're exporting millions and millions of records or attempting to. Let's go to our desktop and open up our 3. Now what we're looking for in this case is where we switch over between our groups. Notice here Crystal Reports has now formatted it with the line, but has still kept this stubborn empty space in there. I'll bet your money if we remove that formatting, we'll now have a clean Crystal Report with no extra lines. Keep in mind that you can design your Crystal Report to export to Excel virtually any way you want. The key is to make sure that we have no extra spaces between the groups and that all of our fields kind of tie together like a little mini grid, especially in the detail in the group sections, and that they're all kind of lined up one over the other. This helps us avoid merge fields and so on. The good news is once you've actually lined up the fields you can format shade color to your heart's content and it really doesn't affect crystal that much. You can either shade the field itself or shade the whole group. Whatever works for you.